Always something to do at the cabin. This weekend, I'm gonna put a metal roof over the back deck. With a nice metal roof, we'll be able to sit outside, enjoying some outdoor living space, drinking a cup of coffee, listening to the creek, and watching the critters. With the fascia board off, I can connect the new rafters to the old rafters with deck screws. I'm using treated two by fours for my new rafters and I'll use three inch deck screws to connect them. I'll keep the old fascia boards. I can cut them to length and use them to fill the holes that I created by taking the fascia board down. When I get the whole thing put together the way I want it, I'll add some soffit vents so the roof on the cabin can breathe. A few pecks with the hammer to get rid of the trim nails I used for that fascia board. And I can see I missed a few when I was pounding that or nailing that soffit up underneath. So I'll go ahead and take this opportunity to get a good solid screw in each one of these uh, rafters. These 10 foot treated two by fours should work perfect for the new rafters. While hanging around people who framed houses for a living, I learned to look down the board and make sure that the crown or the bow is facing up. make a good square mark and cut that fascia board off to exactly where I want it to end. I'll take a few measurements on the low side and take my speed square and get these rafters right where they need to be and then put a screw in them. On a job like this, you always need a supervisor. And there's mine. Hank, you keeping me straight? Uh huh. That's what I thought. Ooh, 
there he is again, 97 and a quarter. Okay, here we go. Just kidding. Sometimes these screws are painted and you can't even use them. Why? I don't know. I guess because they're made somewhere where they don't have good quality control. <laughs> <laughs> They're painted the inside where the bit goes, you know? Mm. I hate that. Nice. Alright, that should go right to the edge. The framing's done. It's ready for tin. I just need to get all the tin I need. Right now I only have part of it. But it looks like it's ready to go. This is as far as I'm gonna to get today. So it's time to crank up a fire, make some coals, and maybe throw some meat on the grill. You got the, you got the steaks? You got a fork? Oh man, you're ready. Ooh. All right, I'll take care of them bad boys. We found a local place, Brass Town Beef. That's where we've been getting our meat, and it is delicious. It seems to me that everything tastes better when it's cooked on a fire. That smoke just adds something to it. All right, it's the next day. I've got this thing framed the way I want it. But before I put the metal on, I got to fill these holes where I took the fascia board off because birds will go in there and bugs and everything else. So there's my insulation, my vents, one little screw, and we're good to go. Next, and so on, and so it on. It has been raining all day. I needed to get those holes filled, so I did. It got soaking wet in the process, but eh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. There you go. A little caulk and a little spray foam, which I can trim up if needed. And it's all sealed. No birds, no bugs. So the rain's got me stopped for now, but I'll come back at it tomorrow and Try it again, see if I can't get that metal up and so we can start using this thing. This morning I started putting the metal up and it's going okay. It's harder than I thought it would be, but I'm getting it yeah. done. Coming together. Creek's looking good. Oh yeah. Looking good. Another beautiful morning on Brass Town Creek. It's chilly and peaceful. Such an awesome place to wake up. On the deck with the new hood. Woo! Problem is, it's only half the tin. I still need to get three more pieces 
but that's all right. I did the best I could. The place I was getting this metal at ran out. They had a good deal going, but they sold it all. I'll just have to keep looking around. I'll find it somewhere, but I'm not gonna go to the box store and pay $60 for a sheet. That's just crazy. I'll have to find a deal on it. Until then, we've got a half a porch, woo! This building here is gonna be turned into the guest cabin. And my new storage building will be right behind it and a little bit bigger. That'll be my man cave slash workshop slash storage shed. <laughs> Only half the metal's up, but the part over us is covered. So here we are drinking a cup of coffee, checking out the critters, listening to the rain, staying dry. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Hey, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you on the next one.